Here we are, Upper State, New York. We're gonna be hunting at the sixth annual Yates Youth Turkey. I'm good, I'm good, man. Yeah, you too. Hey, I, it's nice to run into a guy that I can look. It's perfect, isn't it? With. Yeah. <laughs> it's used to be. I'm really cranked up because I'm gonna be the guest speaker here at this event, and I'm gonna be speaking to 26 unique first-time hunters. On top of that, you've got the wildlife conservation officers, the landowners, and the parents, friends, and guides. It's going to be a very special event. Mossy oak swamp bottom dewdrops fall in. One of these first time youth hunters is going to get their name drawn out of a hat and get to hunt with yours truly. Nothing like the sounds when the day you breaks. Being daddy in the woods on a Saturday. At the end of the event, I was handed the name of the lucky winner, and it happens to be Hunter Crowfoot. Here is the grand winner. Hunter, are you excited as I am? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I am. I'm excited. He's, the problem is he's got to go to school tomorrow. He's got to go in school. They should let out for the first day of turkey season for the youth anyway, right? Yeah. What was so neat is I had all 26 kids come up on stage to get their dual game calls. We also got National Pro Staff member Jason Pollock who calls for dual game calls to help me up there on stage with these kids. We went around and helped these kids and we had them yanking and there's and different cranking. styles of calls. Y'all got, got the double trouble here. What a fantastic time we had at the sixth annual Yates Youth Turkey Hunt that night. <laughs> While I was in New York, I got the opportunity to go to the dual game call plant where brand manager Paul Vicunas gave us a tour. I'm here with Paul Vicunas. He's the brand manager. Paul, tell me about the mystery and magic of these ever amazing dual game calls. Well, one of your favorite calls is obviously is the precious metal. And in the manufacturing process of the precious metal, we have a highly engineered pot. What we use is that we use a 13 layer laminate hardwood that actually starts out four inches tall before wow. we compress and with heat, just basically smoosh it down into the densest, hardest, and moisture free, less than 1% moisture retention that that wood is ever gonna be. Our soundboard goes in and is suspended on those pillars. At a prescribed time later, for the precious metal, the one that you like so well, we actually take the aluminum, which is machined on both sides, not just one, and it goes into the pot. A little yeah. bit more you know, magic sauce goes in there, but when that pot is ready, that pot actually goes over here, and Keith and his team, we're doing a little small run here in order today. Every single call is 100% tested for clarity of sound and accuracy of sound before it actually goes into the finished package. So we complement a highly engineered turkey call okay, with a highly engineered striker because this is part of the pairing that makes the music. So what we have is we actually have a weighted head on the striker. We have an herbal ball down here that actually puts your fingers in the correct position exactly. to run the call. So we include a striker tube that will go with it. This goes in your vest. Now, if we stopped right here, that would be noisy. Mm -hmm. One more turn, dry, clean, and now it's quiet. That goes in your vest with every striker. That's protected. So when you tune your call yep. tomorrow night before your big hunt on Saturday here in upstate New York, yep. you know that that call's good run is perfect for you the first time that you use it, opening day, yep. as it did the night before when you tuned it. And what these calls are all about is quality craftsmanship. They all come with a lifetime warranty. They supply jobs in the USA, and these calls are all made in America. The next day, which was Friday, is setup day. The kids all had to go to school, so I got with Father Kevin Crowfoot and Don Palmer. We went out and set up the Alps ground blinds and got everything ready for the next morning's hunt. This is our setup right here. We're gonna be out of the wind. Notice two blinds that way. Dad, Kevin, and Don will be over here. And little Hunter and myself will be over on the 
this side over here. This is going to be the scene of the crime, the first day of the youth season here in New York, 2015. Stay tuned. So many people have asked me, why did you switch to Elite? It's called shootability. Hey y'all, good morning right here from upstate New York. Got my little hunting buddy, Hunter, who was lucky enough. Listen to that. Is that not a beautiful sound? It's like 25 degrees right now. Before you know it, we had two super jakes right behind the blind, and I mean they gobbled within a foot or two of it, and old Hunter liked to come out of his seat. Hunter decided he wanted to wait on an old sad daddy longbeard, but it didn't happen. How are you this morning? Good. Well, let me just say, today is the day. It's the Lord's day, it's Sunday. We're gonna have a little Sunday morning sunrise in the Alps blind. It's gonna be snap, crackle, pop this morning. Hunter's sitting back and he is taking it all in. What a magical moment on a Sunday morning, having a little God time on a Sunday morning sunrise. The two gobblers come out, the hens come in between us and the decoys. Hey, they are on a mission and just keep on trucking. After that, it's time to pack the Alps blinds up and go to plan B. This is plan B. Kevin and Jason came in and set up that blind. And as you can see, we've got deer. Let's go, guys. Well, we get to the new spot. We're just getting set up. A hen starts yelping. Hey, it's already happening. I'm calling back to her on the dual game calls. Little did I know that Don's not quite ready next door in the other blind. And all of a sudden, Hunter says, there they are. Got him, buddy. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you, good boy, huh? We got him, you first gobbler. Look, Hunter, look at that camera. Tell him what you're feeling, buddy. Tell him what you're feeling. Awesome! <laughs> She's unloaded. I want you just just to talk a little bit and tell me what how how this whole experience with you went down with the virtue and getting this all on video and your first turkey. Well, so, the whole video thing is a lot better than just me and my dad turkey hunting. Being able to um, get this experience, as soon as the turkeys came out, my heart just kept pounding. Did it? Did you get excited? Dude, I tell you what, I'm almost got tears in my eyes right now. I'm choked up because I'm so happy for you because we redeemed ourselves. I was being so hard that the, um, zoom, that the uh, scope got fogged up. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, when it, when it happens like that, you know you're doing something right. Y'all, I can talk about strategies, about calling and everything, but really what the most important part of this is, is sharing that experience with a kid. In particular, Hunter Crowfoot and his father, Kevin, and Don Palmer and I, what an amazing experience out there. You too can make a difference. Take a kid hunting and you'll never have to hunt again. Thank <laughs> you.
All right, everybody smile. <laughs> and uh, go ahead before you get up, just give him another hug. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, Boy, I am proud of you. <laughs> Let me in here, too.